Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, well, we are getting our aprons, hopefully, out. I don't know where they went, but we're going to be making mom something delicious. It's called avocado chocolate truffles. Yep. I'm Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Smith is here with us to show us exactly what we could make for at home. And I do love that this is something, it's a treat for everyone in the house. Yeah, absolutely. Well, like, let's talk about things that moms like. Mm -hmm. Moms like homemade gifts. Mm -hmm. Moms like love chocolate. And moms like to feel good about what they're eating. You know, it's always nice when like, mom, I made you this really decadent triple layer chocolate yes. mousse Thanks. turtle cake. And it's I like, one bite. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> little Johnny <laughs> but this is actually something that we can feel really good about eating and it's delicious and it's nice because they're little bite-sized yummy things that you can keep in the fridge and it's chocolate and all kinds of good stuff so we will be making these and you mentioned that you love the avocado chocolate mousse yes so that's great so I love avocado and chocolate just because it really creates that richness mm. and so it does a really nice job of kind of like making this nice creaminess so we're gonna start with one avocado this is the only way I like avocados, by the way, just everyone. Hidden. Chocolate. Everyone <laughs> just is in totally chocolate hidden. form. So we've got our nice avocado. We want these to be pretty ripe, so you want it to have a little bit of a give to it. And we're just going to pop this guy open, take the seat out like this. Don't cut this yourself because that's like... No. The everyone's number they're like a avocado ham yes yeah. <laughs> people have gone to the hospital before avocado ham so chris i'm going to have you just toss both of these sides okay. of avocado into this food processor here and this is really easy just because you kind of just toss things into the food processor oh, and kind nice. of get things together and mm -hmm. so it's not you know a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff so for kind of our sweetener we are going to be using coconut palm sugar Mm -hmm. And I really like coconut palm sugar just because it is a natural sweetener, so it kind of comes pre-packaged with those minerals to break down those sugars versus a refined white sugar. So, mm -hmm. Christy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little satellite bowl here. So we're going to do two tablespoons of this coconut palm sugar in there. Beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. And I like it, too. It has kind of like a little bit caramely, more of a caramely yeah. note. So we toss that in there. Grazie. And then we're doing like a double chocolate thing. So we've got yes. we've got chocolate from two sources. Nice. <laughs> so that's really nice. So we've got about five ounces of 70% uh, <clears throat> dark cacao chocolate here that I just melted. And so I just pop this in the microwave or you could use a double boiler. I use these ones. Mm -hmm. These are just some fair trade 70% kind of high quality chocolate. And so this is about a 10 ounce bag, so you just use half of it. Okay. And that's all cacao or it's actual chocolate? This is, so cacao and chocolate are the same thing. And I'm so glad you mentioned the difference because I've got a little bag of cacao here. <laughs> and? <laughs> so the difference between cacao and cocoa is cacao is processed at a lower temperature. Hmm. Um, so it has a lot of the phytonutrients kind of in tact still. So all of those nice antioxidants and yummy, healthy benefits that we hear that chocolate has. Maybe not in a Hershey bar, but in the cacao, you can kind of keep those intact. Mm. So we want one and a half tablespoons of this. So Chris, I'm going to have you get that. Bring my, bowl, little, bring my bowl back. A little bowl. Perfect. One and a half. I don't think there's a half on there. Just oh, I'll do. Eyeball that. There is something. I'll do. I'll just improvise it. Yeah. Okay. Bam. That's kind of enough. There you yes. go. Nice. And then I like to throw a little salt in there just because it kind of helps the sweetness come yes. out a little bit too. I always like it when it has a little saltiness to it. Yeah. The so chocolate. Just do like, I would like an eighth of a te teaspoon. Like that. And then we've just got one more. And we're going to do a little vanilla. So I'm going to have mm. you measure out a quarter teaspoon. Oh, I'll let you do it. You're over You're there. You're closer. You go, you <laughs> less, less spillage opportunity. Also, yes. Also, I will probably spill it. <laughs> yeah. And at this point, so you've got a really nice base for your avocado chocolate truffles. If you wanted to play with flavor a little bit, this would be the opportunity. If you wanted to add some, um, I don't know, Grand Marnier or some raspberries or some... Mm whatever xyz Van Kahlua. <laughs> Kahlua. If you want to just amp it up for mother's day this is the yes. opportunity to do it chili powder i think would be really cool Ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. you know you've been those, those like places hot yeah. chocolate yeah and you would love those yeah. Chris. so nice so i if you wanted to go the extra healthy route i actually mm. did that in this i've been kind of obsessed with greens powder lately 
<laughs> so if we wanted like the opposite of Kahlua, these. There um, you go. I've been adding greens powder to various baked goods and brownies and muffins and cookies and things and just kind of like nice. getting those nutrient density up, which I like. We can leave that out of this one, but I just want to, this is just such a great tip of. Let's hit Larson try some swamp water. <laughs> is that Do what you want to smell it? It actually water? is yeah, really that, good. That's part of, I'm oh, sure. Gosh. It's like chocolatey grassy. <laughs> It's chocolate flavored. <clears throat> oh, it's chocolate flavored? Yeah, it's chocolate flavored uh, oh. green powder. Mm. <laughs> we, mm. I'm it? sure Check mixed it. into this, like just like my avocado mixed mm. in. You guys can okay. try it. We get, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it out of these ones all so right. you can try it in these ones. All okay. right, so we've got this. We've got all of our ingredients here. Okay. Okay. This is what I love. It's easy to go. You know, it's really nice. So does that ultimately become that? Yep. Wow. So that just blends up and you've got your mousse and then you're just gonna transfer this back to your bowl that you did the chocolate chips in and you wanna chill this for at least 40 minutes okay. and that's gonna help kind of firm everything up and I've got, we're not done, we're gonna get messy. So you got oh, okay. little gloves. I put the gloves on. <laughs> we got little gloves I here. I know where you're going. I know. And so now I've got these really nice toppings Ugh. that we can roll our, <laughs> <laughs> so we can roll our truffles in. I really like coconut. And so we've got coconut, we've got some chopped nuts, and we've got some more of that cacao powder. And so you can kind of do however you want. If you want to make them, you know, do a little flaky sea salt kind of sprinkled on top, I think would be really nice. Yeah. yeah. So you can just kind of roll them up. <clears throat> so, so the refrigeration, though, is important so that you can mold the chocolate. Yep. Or Otherwise it's going to be too soft. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just kind of roll them up like this. So what if I wanted to like have, can I put more avocado in and then just kind of work with the consistency or is that just? Yeah, no, you could totally play with it and just kind of get, do you want to have a little? Sure, thank you. Oh, look there. at that. Yeah, once it warms up a tiny bit in your hand, you can make a perfect little I know. ball shape. They kind of form really nicely. So. All right, we have 30 seconds left. Anything else you want to share with us? Yeah. So, classes or? Yeah, so at Natural Grocers, I'm the nutritional health coach for Natural Grocers. And so I do all kinds of free health coaching. I do um, classes. classes and cooking seminars, but for Mother's Day, for all moms, we've got a free bar of chocolate. <gasps> so we gotta, nice. we gotta show mamas are like the, yeah, I love that. the heroes of the world. So we need to show them some love. So free bar of chocolate, um, some great com classes coming up. I just had a keto class uh, the other day that Ooh. was amazing that I'm gonna be offering again in July. So come in the store, check out our class schedule. Mm. We've got some awesome things. Is it good, Lars? I know. It's really good. They're mm -hmm. really good. I love them. I'm stoked. Mm. Thank you very much for being here. You are so welcome. Thank you, guys. The recipe will be up on ndtoday.tv, and mm. we have more when we come back. Mm. Wow.